Who's ready for story time with Evil Lamb? Hello again. Nothing at all innovative here. This video will be reasonably short, as I'm just using existing practices, but on a different length of wire so that I can operate on more bands. Here's a plot of my 80 meter to 10 meter infed half wave antenna. As you can see, I'm unable to use 17 meters, 30 meters, and 60 meters without an antenna tuner. If I'd built a less efficient antenna, it would be broader banded and 17 meters might be less than two to one VSWR, but I'm not gonna intentionally build a less efficient antenna. Another thing would be to shorten the wire a little bit to tune for the higher portions of the other bands, which would also probably get 17 meters under two to one, but I don't really do single sideband so that's not for me. I don't really mind using a tuner for 17 meters as it isn't going to be a massive amount of reflected power on the feed line at just over 2 to 1 VSWR but 30 meters and 60 meters are a completely different story and just because a tuner makes the transmitter or the amplifier happy it doesn't make it a good solution. At about 6 to 1 VSWR and 30 meters over half the transmit power is going to be reflected. And 60 meters is going to be far worse than that. And that's just completely unacceptable. So my solution is to construct a second infed half-wave antenna. Um, in many ways it's similar to the 80 meter antenna. Uh, an efficient transformer, like I've detailed in previous videos. Uh, this time there'll be three meters coax between the transformer and the common mode choke. And then the antenna wire will be tuned to length that places the first harmonic at 30 meters, as seen here. Now, as expected, the fundamental frequency of this wire is too low for 60 meters. And the next step is going to be to correct that. A 150 picofarad capacitor has now been added to the center of the antenna wire, which moves the fundamental frequency up to the 60 meter band. The value of this capacitor may vary some in your environment. The overall length of this antenna ended up being 26.7 meters, or 87 and a half feet. And again, this will vary some from one location slash environment to another. Zooming in, you can see that both bands are below 1.2 to 1 VSWR. By the way, if you use this rig expert software, make sure the bands are properly defined for your country. Uh, their default ITU region 260 meters was wider than it actually is here in the USA and had I not caught this I would have erroneously used a different capacitor value to center 60 meters. Uh, these frequencies are easily changed in the software. Uh, something that could make this an even better companion for say a 40 meter to 10 meter infed half wave is that uh, you can add a third band, uh, if desired, by adding a small amount of inductance to the antenna wire two meters or so from the transformer, just like we've already been doing on the 40 meter and 80 meter antennas in the past. Uh, this image shows some of my experimentation with this by moving a harmonic downward to the 12 meter band. I've also done this with the next higher harmonic pulled down into the 10 meter band if you wanted to go that way. Uh, unfortunately, I've been unable to do it for 17 meters. While I can move it downward a good bit, before I could get it where it needed to be, uh, it was enough inductance to start choking, so that was a failed experiment. I know I could add a parallel LC circuit, which some people call a trap, and get 17 meters working on this antenna, but I'm not willing to accept the loss, which that's going to add. 
At any rate, uh, that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed it.